Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Fingers crossed that third time's the charm that we're able to do a video without it getting pixelated or sounding bad or the power going out. It was crazy yesterday. The uh, We were trying to unbox this Goodwill blue box jewelry and my power kept going out, coming on, going out and did it all afternoon it would go off for like 20 30 minutes come back on and so it was just awful <laughs> so hopefully today's the day that we can finish unboxing this goodwill jewelry repurpose box i'll show you the highlights of what we pulled out yesterday because we only got a few things really pulled out and began <laughs> i tell you what oh look <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to fix time later, mom. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. Hi, <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom. I flip things online that I get from Goodwill or garage sales, estate sales, Goodwill blue boxes, um, mostly jewelry. And I do these things to help support my family. So if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you are, if you've been here a while, then I'm so glad you're here still. Because <laughs> goodness knows I put you through the ringer. Well, it wasn't me personally, but you know what I mean. The channel, the universe, whatever is going on. All right, we're wrung out now, universe. We're we're ready. We get it. We get the picture. We're humbled. <laughs> Technology, you win. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And we're going to look at some jewelry. Uh, hi. Hi, Chrissy. Seriously, mom. Okay, I'm going to text her and tell her I'm live. You know what? I'm just going to answer real fast. Hey, mom, I'm live. Can I call you back? Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> She's going to keep calling. So I was like, better just do that um, and take care of it. Okay. So hello, okay. hi Stephanie, thanks for being here. Oh gosh, let me know about the internet. I see my little internet doodad is popping up. You are kidding me. Y'all witnessed, I just told her I was live, right? She must have about to me. <laughs> Stop, mom. Okay, um, did the guy, you know what? The guy didn't, He. I had it scheduled uh, and then my internet started working okay yesterday. And so I canceled it. What should be one of those things like everything was going back to normal, canceled the internet guy, um, and it's been okay so far. So hopefully, and I told the kids, don't, no, no video games. I just want to see if, if, what, if this is going to be okay. Is it fuzzy already? Oh gosh, here we go. Huh? There we go. <laughs> Mom, I know. Okay, here we go for real this time. So highlights from yesterday um, was this Millefiori fused glass pendant. Really, really pretty. When I hold it up like this to the light, you can really see the light coming through the cobalt blue um, colors. So that was one really nice piece from yesterday. We got a few of these bangles that were really nice. Uh, few different ones. I, I started throwing stuff back in the box because I was going to do this camera down and I changed my mind. I was like, no, I want to do it live. So, um, yeah, my neighbor's dog is barking. This was another beautiful piece. I believe it is onyx, a big black onyx butterfly is very heavy glass faceted beads. So, so cool. And then these Cloisonne, Cloisonne-ish, Cloisonne-style beads. Um, really, really pretty. So you could wear it like so. You could wear it like so. It's hard to see it on this. The butterfly, I'm pretty sure it's onyx. Did I figure out if it was onyx or not? She's asking. I'm pretty sure it's onyx with obsidian. I'd have to look a little closer um, to see if there's any... What's the word for it? Uh, I can't think of the word for it. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. I, you know how it gets with words sometimes. Words. 
Okay, then next up, oh, and if you're wondering, this box costs $29.99, Goodwill Blue Box, they go live on Friday, I forgot to say that, on goodwillbluebox.com. They're very hard to get, so good luck. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got this really nice um, Tiger's Eye tumbled chip necklace, and it has got a barrel clasp. Very cute. It's not super long, so it might be able to. Uh -huh. Ah, it's nice. I think I need a different color though, because it kind of blends in with the hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> Talk of different color. So then we've got this necklace. Another. Where's the clasp for it? Is it stretchy? It's not stretchy. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, there is a clasp. Okay. We've got another barrel clasp. Tell me what you think. So all of these chips. And then I think the blue might be glass. I can't think of a blue that that's... Let's look at it with the treasure cam, shall we? Treasure cam away! Okay, here we go. Where is it? Can we see the blue? There's two different colors of blue. Let's see if I can brighten it up. Nope, that's making it very... Is that as bright as... No, it gets brighter. Okay. Thoughts? Oh no, that just that looks like something died. That's not glass. Oh, that looks like a blue tiger. I know there's different kinds of tiger's eye. Does it come in blue? I don't think so. Does it? Y'all will have to let me know. And then that one, what is it? Hmm. One of them looks like it might be glass, and the other one might be. Is it? Because look, it's got the stripes like tiger's eye. Hmm. What do you think? You say dyed agate? Okay, let's flip it back. Uh-oh, one, two, three. That's how you do it. Okay. Uh, I'm looking here real fast. Um, <laughs> oh, have you heard of Matt's crazy art on YouTube? No, I, I have to go check him out. Oh, yay. Okay. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. I think... I think the pretty sound is, the, oh yeah, one of the beads tinkles against the 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 thing, the butterfly on that. Mm -hmm. You think the blue ones are dyed agate? Yeah, I don't think it's lapis. Anyway, it's really really pretty. Okay, let's pull that off. You've been seeing tiger's eye and dyed colors. I know there's different colors of it. It's not something I always knew. I mean, who who always knows everything, right? Look, there we go. <laughs> I bet my mom was calling to tell me my, my bra straps were sticking out because that's what she likes to tell me. <laughs> she doesn't normally call me to tell me that, though, but if my bra straps are showing, she drives her bananas. Okay, next up, <laughs> we've got another bangle. We had a few of these the other day. I, oh, I showed you. Yeah, yesterday. Um, Yeah, so I haven't sang my little bangle song, but maybe I'll sing it in a minute. It's a new song. Well, it's a new tune that I took the tune from another song and made it my own. I'm trying to figure out what this ball is. It looks like perhaps there were some... I'm going to look at it with the treasure cam. How about it? Let's do this. Bring it down all the way to the ground. No, no, not all the way to the ground. Just to the treasure cam. It looks like a ball of confusion. Sing it with me, y'all. That's what the world is today. Hey, hey, ball of confusion. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I, at first I was like, well, maybe they were supposed to be stones, but it looks like they're painted in there. It looks like it's painted. Maybe it's supposed to be a Christmas ornament. And that's my finger. Ball of confusion. Okay, so <laughs> that's a nice one. There's a random, looks like maybe something is missing from that one. Okay, that'll go over probably to a lot. We've got some more. Here we go. Let's sing it. Little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles made of ticky tacky. Little bangles on the hillside, and they all look just the same. There's a infinity sign with missing stones, and a sun that says you're my sunshine. Okay, we'll stop the song there because that one's cute. <laughs> we had a talk about this one too. Remember when we sang the, 
do y'all remember how the, the beginning of this song goes? Not too many people sing the beginning of this song. You are my sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. That's really sweet. <sighs> so the start of this song is really sad, right? The start of this song says, the other night, dear, when I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms, but I awoke, dear, to find you gone. And I hung my head and I cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Anyway, uh, this is a nice one. I'll probably sell that. Um, it will probably go up into my group, Texas Gal Treasures Wholesales. I'm, I had somebody message me and ask about my eBay store because they checked it and it was like, it's gone. Uh, I have everything on vacation mode. I have everything kind of I'm revamping stuff. I'm rethinking how, because uh, I'm a one-woman show over here. and. I've got to figure out how to make things work better and not drive myself insane. So I'm, I'm still, I'm thinking about it. I'm figuring things out. All right, so then we've got what looks like a little antiqued, brassy little shooting star and a little Hamsa hand, teensy little one. And there we go. Okay, that's cute too. Let's see. <laughs> Bro, strap phone call sounds like something your mom would do to you. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, the warrior headpiece. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I ever listed that one. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's either here somewhere lost in the piles of oblivion, or I'm trying to figure all, all my piles out too. Okay, so this one is another bangle. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Nice. Okay. There is a little maker's mark on that one. I can't read it. Something jewelry, it says. Treasure cam away. Hello, Cindy. Hi. It says redeemed jewelry. Sweet. Sweet. I can feel my head, my headdress slipping. What do we think? <laughs> Maybe it'll stay put. We'll see. Sniffle, sniffle. There's something in the air. I tell you what, that, that windstorm blew something through. Can we do it? There, okay. All right, then this, is, it says live, laugh, love on one side. But look, the other side has it like, so when I first saw this, I, I wanted to look at it super close because James Avery, goodness, there's something. James Avery has a charm that's very similar to this one and where it's, I don't know how, what you call that that style where it goes all the way to the edges and it's really squished in there. Maybe there's a name for it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So that's really sweet and it's in good shape. So that one's probably one I'll pop up in the group as well. Oh, my halo is slipping. Oh, long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. Did I find out in, um, any more on the gold cross? Oh, yes. I sold it. I sold it to uh, a viewer. So that was good. And I had someone ask me on a video a few videos back, well, how much did you sell it for? And I said, I'm not telling. Because I know I somebody will say I, spent, I sold it for too cheap and somebody else will say I sold it for too much. I sold it for more than scrap value, but probably less than I could have gotten if I waited and put it up online. So I was happy, the buyer was happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> it, was a, it was a really pretty 18 karat gold cross. And then had like a little blue sapphire in the middle. Is that what it was? Look how quickly I forget. <sighs> so this is another cute one. This is kind of like that style, um, the, what is it called? Origami owl, where they have the little doodads inside the, they're encased. They're encased in there. Uh, and it's got a shoe with a little pink bling. And then it says diva. Everybody probably, not everybody. Some people might know somebody who would enjoy that. But yeah, it's in great shape. Nice little diva. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was so pretty, wasn't it? It, it? If it was my style, I would I would have kept it. But it just, I knew I wouldn't wear it, you know? And yeah, so I needed, you know, bird in the, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, especially at this point <laughs> right now. Uh, okay, then we've got this one. This is Hope. It's got a little pink cross, I mean a ribbon like for the breast cancer and little pink beads. That's sweet. This has got a lot of nice little bracelets in it. Ooh, hello. 
nurse. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Ah. What do we think? Are you ready for this? Let's see what we see. Do we see any marks on your mark? Good set. Oh. You guys, this is really, really pretty. And is there a link in the description of the Hall Sales Group? I'm not sure. If there isn't, I'll put it afterwards. But if you go into Facebook and do Texas Gal Treasures Hall Sales, that's what it's called. Wordy. Oh my gosh, this looks really good. This looks like it could be maybe maybe some gold. Okay. It's beautiful. Okay. First up. So what we have here is a hollow gold so far in color. Bangle bracelet. It's got an etched design on one side. It's got a, a hidden closure. Uh, what do you call this style? It doesn't, I mean, that's the way it opens, like so. Like it's super safety, super safety. That's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, let's look under the treasure cam. See if we see any marks. I guess I could get my magnet. I don't see, I know, I love this. I love this so much. Even if it's not real, I'm probably gonna do a catch and release on this one. Cause this is my, I love bangles, like sterling bangles and gold bangles are my jam. Okay, so I didn't see any marks. So that's a bummer. But I didn't do a really great search. But let's do the magnet. Uh, it is magnetic. Is it? It is. It is magnetic. So that's so weird, though, because it looks like quality, right? It looks like, I mean, like quality gold bangle. Isn't it beautiful? It's cool. Just, I mean, this is, what's that in my hand? Do I want to know? It was blue. What did I touch lately that was blue and liquidy? <laughs> I don't know. That's freaking me out. Okay. Anyway, it does look really well made. Sorry, I keep itching my nose. I'm trying to see if I see a tissue. Let me grab a tissue. I need to itch my nose or it's going to drive me crazy. Hang on. Let me, let me do this real fast. Ah, my headdress fell off. Okay. <clears throat> nope, that didn't do it. That just made it worse. I apologize. Okay, that's going to have to come off because it keeps slipping. <laughs> my nose is itching. I wonder if it's because my VR guys are here. <laughs> if you can hear that. I wonder if it's the yard guys on the, the grass. Maybe, maybe not. All right, we've got some solo earrings. Let me set them down here for a moment. Um, yeah, so I think on this bracelet, even though it's it's magnetic and it's not marked, I'm looking again. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, okay, I'm going to catch and release this one. And then decide <laughs> what to do with it from there unless I get a good offer on it then I'll sell it <laughs> but I like it I like it okay next we've got this is that sound of the mowers really really loud on the computer can y'all hear it um oh JB oh no sales yet I'm sorry oh good luck uh all right so we've got this cool necklace it has a magnetic closure it's kind of like that celtic knot style woven there is a name for this one i get them all mixed up i want to uh, if i say herringbone i know it's going to be wrong uh somebody will tell me though I'll, i need to there's a site where you can go and look at all the different chains so that you can get the right name the right name for the right chain can y'all hear that i haven't seen anybody say anything in the chat so let me know Okay, then this is a bit thoughts. All right, it's got two lobster clasps. It looks like an ex it would be an extender, but it's what? Okay, it says okay. It says hope, not nope. I was like nope. Okay, uh, triple strand. 
beaded, you know, kind of turquoisey. You can't hear them. Oh, good, good, good. Um, and because it's too small for that, so there's, yeah. Oh, test the bracelet because it might be magnetic because of the clasp type. See, that is. I'll test it. But it still would be marked, I would think. But it looks like the style that would be like a total gold bracelet, right? Okay. Uh, what cross necklace from yesterday? I don't I don't think there was one from yesterday. From the other day, you mean? I don't know. Okay. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, then we've got this teardrop glass pendant. And it's got like a starburst in it, like carved into it. Very pretty. It's on a ball chain necklace. And yeah, that's cute. Like it. I like it. Um, oh, okay, you forgot the brand, but they clip on to a, a band so you can change them out. Oh, okay, cool. I wonder if the name is on there somewhere. Maybe I missed it. No, I don't see it. Okay. Then we've got this little faux pearl necklace. The clasp is broken. So that'll probably just end up in a lot. Uh... Then we've got this wire wrapped geo chunk on a, well, this is interesting. Okay, take a look at this. <laughs> what we've got here is a really long chain. We've got a toggle clasp here. And, th and then that hangs down from there. So you would like toggle clasp it. I guess it could also be a belt for somebody. For my neck I'm seeing nope um, but somebody this is probably for my sister <laughs> and then you've got like this rock hanging from your yeah anyway okay cool necklace slash maybe belt for some people not for me all right then we have got this rose quartz flower carved it's really pretty there's the back you can see the bead is kind of drilled through and then it's got these little purple seed beads and some more quartz like faceted stones that's pretty it's really pretty it just gets lost on my skin though i think it would look better with somebody with a different skin tone and then <clears throat> we've got a dirty tassel. Uh, ooh, dirty tassel. Oh, I think we had a dirty tassel, right, song, but I can't think of what it was now. Then it's got this quart, I'm not quart, maybe it's quartz. Anyway, uh, there is a brand here. And then these are those um, like lava rocks. People say you can put oils on them. I don't know. And then let's take a look at this name on this tag, Agenda. I have an agenda, too. My agenda is to ban the world of dirty tassels. Oh, dirty tassels. Go over there. I, I know there are ways of, like, making, revamping them. I saw, I looked up a video, and I thought, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should do a video trying to revamp one. And then I realized, I don't really want to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to. I will leave that for somebody who likes to mess with dirty tassels. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Serena. <clears throat> All right, next up, we've got this. I think it's an anklet. Must be an anklet. And it's got some hematite cubes and some little tiger eye spears. That's cute. And this bracelet, you are my rock, it says. And then it says it's got lapis, it's a stretch bracelet. The stretch is good. And looks like maybe a wing. Nice. I'm trying to see if it says where it came from. Nope. Nope. Oh, well. Uh, 
then I don't know what that means. Okay, in the chat, I don't know. So next up, we've got this kind of jade, jadeite carved Buddha on. How dirty is that red string? It's woven. It looks cool, right? Right. But I'm so like the like when the back when you, you know it's like at the back of people's neck and it gets all like gross. Yeah, I don't like that. And the thing is, is that my kids like stuff that's like jade, that they like to call jade, whether it's jade or not, because um, I probably would not give them real jade. <laughs> but jadeite, like stone stuff carved like that, my kids love it. So I usually hand it over to them. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I could wash the cord. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm reading in the chat real fast. How are you? Oh, you just made a hundred dollar sale. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Then we've got this bangle kind of looks like feathers or an arrow quivery part. The, what do you call the feathery part of the arrow? The quiver? No. That's what you put the arrows in. It is called a quiver, isn't it? Is that the quiver too? Quiver? Arrow? I can't think now. I don't know. Y'all help me. So that's kind of a fun bangle. Yeah. Are there cities that you cringe when you say that the blue? No. I've had good and bad blue boxes from everywhere. I honestly, I just quit looking. <laughs> I did. I don't even really pay attention anymore. I'm just happy I got one. And then we've got this mother of pearl bead necklace that also has some green stones, which I'll have to look up, and then some little coral bits. I'm, I'm always, I'm always bad. I always have to look up some of these green ones because I get them mixed up. But they're pretty, huh? It reminds me of the 80s, though. This one's a bit vintage. A bit vintage, you know. Do y'all have any plans for this weekend? Or are you just going to sleep off the whole uh, daylight savings thing? Do I have any plans for this weekend? No, I don't. <laughs> I do not. Look it, it's a compass. All right. Does it work? Here's the question. Oh, gosh. I don't have my readers. Do I? No. It's tiny. T Tough luck, lady. You're lost, but you forgot your readers. You'll never find your way home now. Um, I can't. But, um, that doesn't work that way, Margaret. It seems to be working. Thank goodness they have marked the, the tip. It appears to be working. And it's set into this little block of wood. Right? Cute. I love it. I used to collect compasses. That's a fun fact. Compasses and I collected compass roses. So, yeah. Oh, gardening. You know what? That's a really good idea. I was talking to the kids about going to the garden center and picking out some. Since we got COVID, right? I, I love to garden. And in the backyard, we had our fall garden all planted with all of our, you know, carrots and fall greens and gourds and all the stuff. We got COVID and it was just like game over, <laughs> right? And then everything died and now it looks a mess out there. Then we had a like crazy ice storm, all this. So everything just looks awful in my backyard right now. Uh, so maybe we'll go tomorrow to the garden center. Maybe I'll plant, do some planting this weekend. I think that's a good idea. Start getting our spring garden going. Get some, yeah, vegetables. Yay. Let's see. A fletching. It's called the fletching. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. The quiver was what you carry it in. Yeah. My yard is a mess. Since they're not, okay, okay. Since they are not taking PayPal, how do you pay for it? I do the Google Pay, I think, because I think they have Apple Pay and Google Pay set up. So you can just like click it and go. Sometimes I totally forget. Like I'll start going through the checkout and forget that the button's up there to see the Google Pay. And so I miss it because I totally sometimes space on that. Look it, I found a ring. Ring! Isn't this cool? There's a red doobie over there. Not a doobie. And a blue doobie over there. Still not a doobie. It's a cabochon, Margaret. Get it right. We're going to look at this up close and personal. And we're going to need the mandrel. 
Mandrel, mandrel, who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. I'm it. I won. Yay. All right, let's take a peek first. Down in the valley, the valley's so green. I found my sweet ring with a blue stone and a pink doesn't rhyme with green. <laughs> and then on the sides of this ring, it's kind of got a knot, but look at that green in there. Something tells me it's not going to be real because of the green in there. All right, let's look on the inside of this. Shall we? Okay, there's something written in there. Written, stamped. What does it say? Uh, it looks like some zeros. Turn it around. 5,000? 5,100? Five, I don't know. How about this way? Mm, okay, magnet time. <clears throat> It is magnetic. Let's see if, the, if we use the loop with the treasure cam, if we can get a better, I swear my neighbor's out on his porch. Can y'all hear him? We don't need to hear his business. Hopefully it's nothing major. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Okay, let me see if I can, yeah, it looks like it's a, They're so loud. It looks like a 5,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, that ring, it looks like ring and flash. Okay, so there we go. It's pretty cool. Um, look in there. In the... Okay, so there we go. That's a size 5 on the mandrel. I think even though it's not really gold it's really cute it's really pretty yeah you can't hear them. okay good <laughs> maybe it's the thickness of the gold plate okay maybe um okay next okay let's do easy pickings well i thought it was easy pickings <laughs> i was like oh this will be easy nope it's bringing up everybody <laughs> come on man stop it Okay, here we go. We've got a little necklace. <laughs> I'm listening to my neighbor. Okay, it's got, a, it looks like a stamp. And it says love 22 and there's a doggy. A little doggy. A little brown doggy. What kind of dog you say that is? It's not quite a beagle. You have some kind of hound dog. He's a hound dog, blood hound. Macadamia nut, pine nut. That's what that reminds me of. We're going to have to read this on the back. Have y'all seen that movie? I like to name nuts. It used to drive my mother crazy. <laughs> pine nut, macadamia nut, peanut, which is not really a nut. It's a legume. It says the Merch Co. Tell me y'all know what movie I'm talking about. And I'm not just crazily naming nuts over here <laughs> the i'm trying to get this the march co there's a phone number best in show there you go it's hilarious right best in show it's a, one of those mockumentaries right and it's all about dog shows <laughs> god loves a terrier <laughs> it's hilarious this says oh goodness can i read it I am thinking this is not in English. United States Postal Service. Brand merch, 1985. I can't read most of it. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a yeah. There's a, a movie called Best in Show. It's a Christopher a Christopher Guest. Um, and then it's got. Oh gosh, the, what's his face from from? Oh, you guys, what's his name? From the Rosebud Inn. From, I can't think of names and words right now. <sighs> Moira and, <laughs> uh, y'all, I'm not just naming words. Eugene Levy, thank you. 
Eugene Levy, and in it, he, his wife is the same wife, and her name is escaping me too. This is awful. Anyway, it's hilarious. It is hilarious. Uh, I love it. Shit's Creek people. That's it. Yes. <laughs> what is her name? You thought Billy Bob Thornton. He's got the same kind of accent going as what Billy Bob did in <laughs> Pine Nut. Um, okay, then we got this bracelet that's got this adjustable. That's pretty cool. Y'all are going to have to help me. Maureen. Maureen O'Hare. Maureen O'Hare. Is that her name? Did I get it right? I feel like I've got it not quite right. <laughs> I love her, though. If you're watching, Maureen, if that is your name, I love you. All right, then Catherine O'Hare. <laughs> That's it. It's not Maureen at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm going to blame COVID. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, look. How cute is that? Okay, over here, we've got this column. And then the, we've got this long, it's not super long, but this bracelet. But look, look at this. <gasps> I love this charm. I'm going to just pull that heart back and show you this cute little devil charm. <laughs> Look at him, he's always oh, so angry and he's got his tail. He's probably angry because his tail's like poking his, his uh, cape back and he's like, I want my cape to lay flat, but this tail just won't let it. <gasps> Turn over you naughty little devil. Look at him, <gasps> he's amazing. I love him, he's horrible. He's a devil monkey. What is he? Because it doesn't, it looks like it's a, he's wearing it. He's wearing the helmet. He's wearing the cap with the horns. He's like a little monkey, but he's dressed up as a devil. Did see a mark over here? It looks like a C and a something else. And then. I'm guessing that's going to be a 925 in there. His face, right? Isn't that great? Um, I, that is really unreadable. Unless it's re readable. Let me turn it around. Maybe it's upside down. Eh, I don't know. Okay. I've never seen anything like him either, right? I want to take him and put him on my charm bracelet. And then there's this nice, like, heart charm. It looks like somebody made this, right? I think he's amazing. He's, he's so unique, right? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that fella. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those ugly, cute things. Unless you just think he's ugly, ugly. <laughs> I love Catherine O'Hare. Could it be Satan? <laughs> love the church lady, too. Good. Good reference on that one. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Arizona, Arizona State has the devil as their mascot. Oh. Okay, then we've got this necklace. Look how fun that one is. It's got this antiqued look. I don't think it's actually silver. No, 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 it's not. Because look at the back. You can see where the finish is worn off. But it's got that kind of antique tarnished look to it. It looks, this clasp looks like it is broken. So it'll need a new clasp, which may not be too hard to do to like you could get a new clasp on that but that's a really cool looking necklace awesome awesome right matches my bra mom <laughs> there see oh that looks nice only well, would need a new clasp like i said new uh closure okay how are we doing on time you're doing all right <clears throat> i hope you all are doing well other than gardening what else you got going on the SCTV, <laughs> yes. I love all of those. They do a lot of those mockumentaries. They did a Mighty Wind. What's another one that they did that I really liked? 
I mean, they did Spinal Tap. Um, Waiting for Guffman. Uh, well, there's another one that I really like of theirs, too, that I can't think of right now. They're all super fun. If you're looking for just silliness, you know. Helmet wearing devil monkey, yes. <laughs> okay, so then we've got this clamper bracelet in two shades of green. Two shades of green. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Masterpiece Jewelers, Jewelry Experts. Look at y'all. Nice. <laughs> we haven't found any bonus here today. We have had a dirty tassel, but no sassy tassels yet. Maybe we'll find one. All right. We have got a turquoisey bead. They're veined. What say you? What's the verdict, y'all? Turquoisey beads. Then we've got this, which looks like a Tory birch, but I always, I always have to check because there's some that mimic Tory birch, and I always get them mixed up. So I always have to double check the logo do i have any tory birch experts because if so then we could get a definitive answer on this piece right y'all right here and right now let's look at that clasp though that clasp is suspect the clasp is suspect let's go look a little closer my phone is blowing up over here i'm glad i muted it all right so those beads let me see if i can Make it a little more clear. It's about, they're kind of shiny. So I don't know about that. And then we've got, what do you think? You think it's for real Tory Birch? And then let's take a look at that. Oh, look at there is the bonus hair. It came just in time. Oh, it's in there. But look, the clasp looks like, like the finish has worn off of it. And so you can see the copper underneath it. I don't know if Tory Burch does that or if they have nicer finishes. Look at all the bonus here. Okay, I'm going to Google Tory Burch logo. Tory Burch logo. Yeah, it looks good. Tory Burch. Hang on. You, I'm going to pull, try to see if I can get it where you can see it too. Because that would be better, right? We could learn together. Let's see. Screen share. Have to talk. Waiting for Guffman. Yes, that's another one. <clears throat> And here it is. Share. See, there's the Tory Burch logo. So it looks like that. Let's see if we got Tory Burch logo turquoise bead necklace. Do they make such a thing? We'll find out. And maybe there's something that looks similar ish. Possibly. Mm, I'm not seeing the exact one, but it doesn't look like it's out of their style or out of their realm of view all. This is not what we came for, Margaret. We didn't come for a Google search. Sometimes in life, things don't go the way you want. <laughs> um, Like I said, it looks like their style. I'll have to do a little more digging, but that'd be cool. I don't know how much... <clears throat> You know, that Tory Burch has a following, so let's put it back on, let's put it back on the, the actual piece now. Boom. Open. There. Okay. So, yeah, I'll do a little more digging and see what I can find, but the logo looks right, so that's good. It's one of those things that does have knockoffs, though, for sure, but it's pretty. I'm going to look it up because that could be, that could be some money, a little bit of money for my honey. Only I don't have honey, but I'll take the money. <laughs> there. There's a song from me to you. <laughs> the kids are getting more and more used to my songs. They were saying, we need to make a song up for this. Oh, we're, we were driving somewhere, and they were saying that today. Like, we make, we need to make a drive. We need to make a cutting through the parking lot song. <laughs> we're cutting through the parking lot. Traffic's really bad. Cutting through the parking lot. The cops are gonna be mad. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, gotta have a song for everything. It makes a bad situation worse. Or better, <laughs> depending on the song. Uh, okay, so here we've got this necklace. It's missing some stones. 
One second. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to deal with that later. <laughs> when you look down, you see 25 missed messages. <laughs> Great. Okay. So then we've got this probably dyed howlite bead. I'm looking in the holes. Yeah, dyed howlite. A little elephant. That's cute. Silver, silver, silver tone. You can see it's rubbed off. Um, <clears throat> then, oh, I forgot this one. We've got this pretty necklace. This is sweet. We've got this little sea star on a silver chain. Is it silver or is it just silver tone? I don't see any marks there. Or, oh, there's a little bit of a tangle there. I'll have to fix that. Let's get the magnet, shall we? <laughs> I can't tell. It's not magnetic. <clears throat> so I'll have to look at it a little bit closer. It might be silver or it might just be, you know, silver ish. I don't see any marks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cute. That's really sweet, though. Okay. <clears throat> I make it more songs. Always. Yeah. We're always, always making up songs. It's more fun that way. This one's really dirty, but I want to put it on my head so bad. So it's got this, I wish there was, I mean, I guess there's probably a way to like re-dip things or color, like dye them or spray paint them or something. Cause like this is gonna be such a cool piece. Even if it was like spray painted bright yellow or something. If the, if it just didn't look like this, the coloring was bad. Make it fun to get the job done. Yes, exactly. Um, that's a bummer, because that's a cool looking piece. Then, ooh, hey, you're pretty too. Let's do the pretty one first. Look at it. Hello. I'm beautiful. I'm big. I'm blue. I'm beautiful. Love me. Love me. What does it say on the back? It says, oh, I don't know. I can't read it. Let's go closer. Look. That's beautiful. It sells. Trying to clear it. Oh, I love you too. I love you. I, I think that's what it says. Yeah, I love you too, jewelry. <clears throat> uh, the clasp. I don't see any kind of gold or silver, not gold, but silver marks on it. I mean, clearly this is, you know, just for fun. It's not really big blue sapphire. But isn't it fun? <laughs> Definitely. This is a fun piece. Huh. And it hangs like that, which kind of drives me crazy. I... I don't know. What what are your thoughts on it hanging sideways? Like if you loved me that much, like you can't even get it straight. Really? I mean, for real, how much harder would it be just to be like big heart love? This is sort of like a throwaway, like, yeah, I love you, babe. Like that. That's how it looks to me. So there. And that's what matters, right? Anyway. <sighs> then we've got this shell, mother of pearl chip toggle class bracelet with a little key that's cute everybody's quiet today are y'all doing okay what are you doing right now i want to know what are you doing this second well don't if it's g-rated or as long as it's not r-rated okay as long as it's not x-rated <laughs> uh, i'm thinking too much no I think I'm not thinking enough. We could go down this rabbit hole for a while. Just, you know, <laughs> wind me up and watch me go. <laughs> oh, okay, then we've got this bracelet. Oh, that's fun. I like the little panels. I like the stones. I'm trying to figure out the tarnish in between. It makes me think maybe it's plated, like silver underneath. What are we doing watching me? <laughs> 
<laughs> working, listing, going through your blue box, yay. Uh, sitting on the couch watching you. I'm on the big screen, baby. <laughs> Making soup, yum. Flicking your eyebrows, photographing jewelry, untangling necklaces, yay. <laughs> okay, it does have a mark. We're gonna have to go in closer to see what it says. Um, <laughs> I had a friend who watched that would sometimes send me a picture when she was watching from her on her TV. It always made me laugh. Like I'm on the TV, look, mom. <laughs> All right, so this is a nine two five. Yeah, I bet it is like gold plate over silver. The reason I it kind of led me to that was because of the tarnish around the the hinges, because that's probably where the the gold tone would. Um, get taken off easier. Then we've got the clasp, which is really pretty. And I love bracelets that have like the safety. And this is like double safety clasp. Love it. Love it. I love it. Okay. Fixing a vintage daisy brooch. Working and listening. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm living vicariously through you. Then, then, there, okay. Vacuuming sunflower seeds off the living room floor. <laughs> nice. Your son dumped the entire jar. Ah, uh, yeah, I bet the stones on that bracelet are real. Oh, uh, where did I put it? It's over here in the thing. Yeah, yeah. Then we've got, oh, turn it around. I think I can see. Ooh, okay. I always get this this material mixed up because this is not is this the one that's the coconut? This is not the co is it the coconut or is it not the coconut? It's cold-ish to the touch. And it's what is it? Um I just need to make a poster on and have it like for reference. Things you always forget and ask, what is this again? No, is it it's not wood. Is it what? It feels cold though. Unless it's lacquered. How cold is it? No, oh, it's cold. Okay. I don't know. Cold-ish. I keep second-guessing myself. Maybe my hands are hot. Anyway, that's fine. Very tribal looking. Then, na 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 There's an earring that got caught. Hang on. You earring, go over here. This was one that we showed yesterday. I showed that one yesterday. That was a cool one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and another. Just got live on it. Vegetable ivory. Oh, these are fun. We've got some vintage screw back earrings. And these look like little roses with leaves that are bigger than the roses, which is interesting. Ear more ornaments. Oh gosh. <laughs> I have broken down and bought in pewter by Christina um some like cheaters to like leave around the house. I had to do it. I mean, I guess it was time. How old am I now? 46. I'm 47 this year, but it's okay because my brother's turning 50, and I am not. <laughs> then there's this little angel. That's cute. Let's see, are you? Yeah, magnetic. Yeah, I guess it was time. I don't feel that old, though. I don't. I don't feel like I should have that. This looks like fish. Are they fish? Oh, fishy, 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 fish. Wherever has my fishy gone? No oh, fishy, 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 fish. It was here, but now it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Stop quoting movies, Margaret. No, I won't do it. Then we've got some beads. They are a hanging on a cord. And maybe they were a necklace once upon a time, but now they're just beads on a cord. Your 40s were your favorite so far. You're 52. Nice. Just turned 60. Your husband turned 40 this year, and I'm not. <laughs> 46 in June, Alicia. Woohoo! 
I'm supposed to turn 50. Oh yeah, postpone that. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. You really thought it was my 30s? What? Thank you. <laughs> Tagus net. That's what I think it is. Yeah. Ta Tagus net? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Those are cool. I maybe my sister does a lot of stuff with the glass beads and stone and stuff, so this might might go to her in her box bag. The big thing I got going for her over there. Something in here is magnetic. I can feel it. I feel it in my fingers. Feel it in my toes. That was bad. Love is all around me. And so the feeling grows. <laughs> all right. Then we've got this bracelet. It's got the magnetic doodads on the inside. Looks like there's some mark there. Cool. Somebody might enjoy that. <clears throat> Just jumping in here. You watch but not subscribe. That's cool, man. Oops, wrong one. You can totally subscribe now. That would help me. I have a goal. I want to get to 100,000 subscribers. In real life, I would like to get to more than that. So let's just say it. I want a million. <laughs> I want them all. I want a Pokemon them. Got to catch them all. All the subscribers. Because <laughs> the whole world wants to watch my ramblings. <laughs> but I think it would be fun to have. I don't know. It's a goal. You know, everybody has one. Or not. But I do. This looks like fluorite, most likely. Uh, look at that, how filthy. You're getting filthy, Margaret. Let's see, I'm referencing great movies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the wood you have is probably ironwood. It's coming in Mexico. Oh, sweet. Subscribe. Yes, it's totally worth it. And you'll be doing your good deed for the day. It'll make you feel great. When you go to bed tonight, you'll be like, I did a good thing. I'm happy about the, the way my day went. Watch if it doesn't. If you fall asleep and you're not thinking about me, then I did my job. <laughs> or not. I'm just oh, being silly. Whatever. All right. So there we've got some Jasper and a nice little bracelet. Some double strand Jasper. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, hit the like button. I can't see because I'm on the stream yards. If the next thing I show you is an elephant, you have to subscribe. <laughs> Ready? Set. Oh, my gosh. What are the odds? I mean, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> so, look, it's a fork, and it's in the shape of an elephant. This is almost as cute as my octopus. This is pretty cute, though. I love it. He's so sweet. Hi, guys. I've only got three legs, but one is just hiding. Just trust me. Okay. I've got four. And he's on a little ball chain necklace. Oh, sorry, elephant. That's a really cute idea. I tell you what, that's adorable. Adorable! We've got a little chain, 14K. There's an 18K gold. Oh, you have the, the treasure cam. Just go for it, girl. That's what it's there for. Let's see, 18 karat gold plated, it says. Can you see that like I can see that? There. Cool, sweet, sweet. This is a nice little box, huh? Here's another one. Does it also have the same little tag? Yeah, it does. Interesting. Uh, this, I don't know what that goes to. We've got a little cross here. Is that, a, is that writing on the side? It might be. Well, that's pretty. Let's go look at that writing, maybe. Shall we? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, 120th. Here we go. We've got some gold filled. 120th, 12 karat gold filled. Cool. We've got a little bit of gold filled stuff here, a little bit of plated stuff here. I feel like we're getting closer to the big time. <laughs> We're close. 
These look like little Easter eggs, don't they? Oh, fun. They're cute. And it's got a clasp and it's got an extender. Very cool. I like it. I like it. Then, oh, we had one of these in the other. It's like bead factory. All the things to make your own. We wanted to do the work for you, but we're lazy. So you get to do it on your own. But the bees are pretty. Cool. What are they? Does it say? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And let StreamYard is so fun. This little bracelet looks like a crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. It's heavy. All right. And it's going to fall. It's going to fall. Okay. Then I've got some little, okay. I got bait. Ah, some baits. Some little amethyst earrings. Those are cute. They're so little. I wear such big earrings now, showier earrings than I used to. Oh, another ring. Ring. Ring time. Ready? Ta da. What say you? Citrine? Hmm? It's kind of orangey. What else do you think? Uh, let's do, oh, my internet's much better. I'm so glad. As much as I wanted to have the internet guy come out, I really didn't. <laughs> I really did not. Uh, okay, I don't see any marks. So clearly, lab created or, you know, something of the sort. Mandrel, mandrel. I can stop singing now because I have it. Who's got the mandrel? If you got the mandrel, then you are it. I couldn't stop. I tried. It was a size six. But it's pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Topaz? Mm. Anyway, even though it's not marked and it is magnetic, I still think it's sweet. Probably going to put it, you know, it could go... I don't know, <laughs> in the haul group, in a box to a friend. We'll see. We've got a little pendant here. Uh, I feel like this was the box that they had all this stuff they set aside to double check to see. And then when it wasn't real, they were like, throw it all in a box. I'm trying to see if there's a mark inside that one. Hang on, treasure cam, let's do this. I was trying to see if there was any kind of mark in there, but I don't. Because this is not magnetic. It looks really good, though. Eh, it's pretty. But yeah, no marks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Pardon me. Sick time. Oh dear, we're at an hour. Okay, let me pick out uh, one more thing. Okay, here we go. I'll come back and do another video with the rest of it. I'm trying to keep it at an hour. Look at this. Look. Well, because that's why you're here, right? You're here to look at all the things. We've got a, this really cute bracelet. It's got a sea turtle and a shell and a sand dollar, a sea star. Oh, it's upside down. And a horse dragon. And <laughs> why can't I think seahorse? Why can't I think of your name? And another shell. Isn't it pretty? Here, on the head. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. I love it. It's so sweet. And it's got, oh, is it one of those again? Is it going to be tiny? It's so tiny. No. <laughs> what does it go to? It's too tiny. Can I hook two of them together to make one beautiful bracelet? Where did it go? Where did the other one go? Oh, that is really going to bother me. <laughs> That's bothersome because it's too short to be a bracelet on its own. See? Oh, my. I mean, I have to get something. You have the same ring I'm wearing, Rianne says. <laughs> Okay, I am, yes, the pendant is black. This one, ba-boom, like that. 
It's a little black cabochon. Let's see. Okay. Um, is the internet messed up again? Oh dear. Okay. I thought it was better. Well, oh well. All right. There's a little bit left in here that looks good. So probably what will happen is I'm going to set it to the side and we'll come and we'll just have another chat <laughs> and we'll just go through it and like chit chat. Um, it could be a child's bracelet. This is true because there is still some fun stuff in here. Like I still see a few rings. Look at this ring. Okay, one more thing. Boom. Look at that. Cool. Just cocktail darling. Oh my. Mm. It's a nice little cocktail ring, isn't it? The world is. What is that sound? Okay, they're having a party or something out there, but a weird party. Okay, it is magnetic. Okay, more chat. <laughs> Okay, this is the last one for real. So it's magnetic. Let's go see if we see any marks in there. Okay, good. The internet is okay. Good. Okay. So I think this is just like costume jewelry, probably. What is that over there? There's a messy, messy stamp. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it. Uh, I can't read that stamp at all. It's like a stamp that wasn't stamped all the way. S. I don't know. <clears throat> Waterfall ring. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, even just, you know, costume jewelry for fun. It's really pretty. It looks like a million bucks, baby. I feel like it should be on Dallas. <laughs> okay. So, very nice. It looks like one of those convertible watch bands, the super short bracelet. Oh, okay. Because we had another one. And so I, somebody said, like, I think it's from something like that. Maybe there's a watch in there. Oh, well, we'll keep looking. All right. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I am... Uh, Okay, it's a like connects to a medic uh, alert plate, and you can change out the bracelet part, making the medical. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Good to know. Okay. Well, that is nice because then you're not having to wear like you can kind of make it pretty, right? That's nice. I'm glad to hear that that's happening for people that have to wear medical alert bracelets. Okay, I'm gonna pause here because we're at a little bit over an hour, even though we've got some more stuff that I really wanna, I'm trying not to look. Oh, look, I'm gonna close it up, watch. You and me, it's being closed up. Never to be opened again in this unopenable, openable. Oh, oh, there we go. We are gonna close it in the most secure way ever. Ugh. So now I will not be able to enter it until we talk again. I'm even going to put things on top of it to stop myself. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you have a really great rest of your evening. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go call my mom back so she can I'll tell her, look, I already put them. They're fine. I put the bra straps away. All right, I'll talk to you. <clears throat> I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening. Bye, everybody.